Hi guys, it's Richard FLD here. Um, just doing a quick video. Um, I recently got my computer back. Um, I had it all fixed up, of course, the motherboard and processor went. Um, but there's just a few niggly things that have been going on for, for a long while. Uh, one of which is the bottom LED light has stopped working. Um, so I was just in the process of fixing that and I thought, why not do a little video on it? Um, I'm sure there's loads of people out there that have got uh, computers which... Uh, the little LEDs are gone. It's a, it's fairly simple. Um, you just need to know basic electronics. Um, first thing you want to do is obviously get the front case off. Uh, this one just pulls off, but yours might be screwed on. And basically down there is a little holder, which is this thing. Um, that that goes into the case like that, and that goes on the back, which holds this little LED and resistor in. That little LED um, sits in there like that. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm um, a bit of a problem because you can't really get LEDs like that normally. Um, so I've had to get the normal round type, which you may have to make fit. Because obviously, that there is for a little flat one. But that's not a problem because what, what I'm doing is there's two little notches in there, which I've just been scraping out with my knife. I'm going to get a little file, I don't know if you can see that, the light's really crap in here. You can see there's two little bits there which I've been digging out. And hopefully that'll be wide enough to then clamp this normal LED in, like that. Then what you want to do is then just solder on the resistor onto the live wire, which is on there. I'll take that off and I'll solder it on. It's like, you know, basic soldering kit. Um, multimeters are handy because um, you want to find out what voltage the wires are, which are these two. Obviously, it's not usually a good idea to do it when the computer is running, but I needed to check the voltages and make sure um, all the bits and bobs are right. And um, yeah, really, that's all there is to it. I mean, it's never going to be perfect. You will need to play it about because, um, like I said, uh, these resistors are the little flat ones, and uh, the ones I've got are the standard round ones like that so yeah I mean that's really all there is to it I mean <clears throat> um, I'll do some photos as I go along and I'll like stick them at the end of the video and comment over them but um, yeah I mean it's fairly easy I mean it's this top one is inside this door which opens to give you the CD drive and um, yeah it's basically one two three four screws which then lets you into the back of that panel and that is essentially what this is and the LED just sits in there and then this screws into the back and holds everything in so yeah really the hardest part is modifying these little bits to accommodate a round LED which uh, all you need, all, all I'm going to use is like a small round file just to go backwards and forwards and do that but um, yeah then all you need to do is just solder it up with your little solder iron and um, yeah it's easy as that I mean obviously if you've never done it before it's a bit challenging because soldering can be a bit technical um, but just do it slowly make sure you can you know computers all off with LEDs typically You've got, let's close that back up. Hold on. You've got a long wire, long leg, and a short leg on the LED. The long leg will be the live, so the long leg will go to the red wire, and the short leg will go to the white. And also, the little resistor sits on the live side as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break that solder just above the resistor there, and then I'm just going to solder the rest onto there. And, um, yeah, like I say, I mean, uh, that just literally just pops in there. It's like a little diffuser, really. That just goes in there and it diffuses the light out the front. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty simple, really. Um, at some point, I'm going to put some more LEDs and neons in. Um, I had to fit a little switch on the side there. As you can see, the wires are in there. I had to modify the side of the case slightly. Um, because I put a few more fans in for when I'm playing games I was going to do it on a temperature sender so they only come on when they're hot but I'd rather do it manually um, because uh, the fans I put in are quite beastie fans and for just like normal working and stuff 
you know that is quite loud <laughs> so um, yeah I had to put that in but I'm going to put another little switch in which is going to be connected to like, a load of neons which I'm going to put some up in there with some um, that top clear case plastic there is transparent so I'm going to have like a nice sort of neon backlight in there when I really want to crank things up so yeah I'll put some videos on later um, a video on later with photos as I go along showing all the different stages that I'm doing this and um, yeah hopefully it's some help to someone so yeah that's all for now um, I'll stick the photos up now and narrate over them so okay, enjoy right so hello um, obviously uh, you've just seen the video <clears throat> um, this is just more of an in-depth sort of guide because obviously it was hard to sort of describe things as I was doing them and holding the camera so hopefully this will give you a better idea of what to do obviously all computer cases are different um, this one is it's fairly typical of a standard sort of full tower design um, you know, you, you're gonna have LEDs on it usually if you have this sort of gaming sort of case. So, the actual application on how they fix the LEDs in and how they mount them, um, it varies a little bit. It's generally the same though. Usually, you'll have um, something um, which refracts the light out the front and then a back on it to reflect it out. Um, you know, sometimes they're just standard LEDs that you just push in. You know, sometimes the ones that clip in, there's all, you know, they're all going to be relatively the same. Um, so there's not really any sort of issues there. The only issue really will come with, um, if it is a special sort of, well it's not special, but if you have like a little flat LED like I had, obviously you're going to have to have a little play around with that. Um, so, <coughs> yeah, basically, um, this picture, what I did here, I took the front I took the case off <coughs> on mine it's you know it just pulls off it's really strong so you've really got to give it a tug but be careful if you've got a cheap case um, then things are probably going to get broken um, because cheap cases are, they're not designed to be sort of fixed and played around with you know they're just a, if you've got a budget case y you might want to sort of just leave it I've tried to fix LEDs in cases before and some of them have been really cheap cases and they've just broken you know you try and get plastics apart the clips break they won't go back together but if you've spent money on a decent um, this is a um, NZ XT case so it's a really quality gaming case any of like the cooler masters or Genetech, Genetech anything like that you know <coughs> no problem they're all good quality cases so yeah, you just pull the front off like I've done here. Um, you'll see that I've already snipped the wires. Um, what you want to do, um, it, it will normally always be about 5 volts, but you just want to check because it might be 12 volts. And yeah, you just want to check that. So before the resistor, you want to check the input voltage and also you want to know what sort of resistor you've got I mean I'm reusing my resistors I just checked for continuity to make sure it wasn't the resistor that had actually gone um, usually if you get a reading um, uh, on the resistor then it's usually fine another way to test is um, connect you know cut the resistor off connect the LED up to a little AA or AAA battery you know they're only 1.5 volts but if the LED still works and it will glow that way you'll know it's the resistor so yeah that's that I mean I knew the resistor was working I knew the voltage um, so yeah I just went and got a couple of LEDs um, if you don't know what you need just clip it off and take it to a shop and hopefully you know they should know what they're looking at um, so yeah that's basically what happened there um, here you can see sort of more closely how this works it's just basically it's got the back there which clamps it on to the little plastic clear diffuser which then shines light out the front um, here you can see um, the little LED sitting in the diffuser um, basically it just shines down and then there's a little bit that sort of sticks through into the case which is the bit you see so yeah that's 
that's that. Um, here's the LED and resistor. I mean, that's just yeah. Um, here I've got a couple of files. Uh, these are actually files I used to sharpen my chainsaw with, but it just happened that uh, that large one there was just the right size to file that out and make it the right size for um, for the LED. And there you can just see a bit closely what I started to do there. Um, so yeah, that's easy enough. Um, yeah. Soldering, um, basically, well, if if you, if you can solder, then you know, obviously, go for it. But if you can't solder, then you're gonna want to practice with some bits of wire, um, because soldering isn't always easy. Um, but you know, as you can see here, <coughs> what I'm doing is I'm holding. I've cut the positive leg off the LED, so I'm gonna solder that one first. And I'm holding the other leg and the bit of wire in between my pinky and my thumb. So then, what I'm going to do? I've got the I've got the soldering iron on the desk. Then all I need to do is bring up the two wires I'm soldering, and then just put a bit of blob of solder on there, and it's done. It's just you know, you just knowing how to hold things and you sh <coughs> you know had the, you know the techniques more than anything. Um, it's what often makes soldering difficult. And you know, there you can see I've just sort of blobbed that on. You can see on the solder iron, I just put a blob of solder on the tip there, and then I I just brought the two wires down into that solder and job done. It was quite easy. Um, yeah, unfortunately I didn't have any shrink wrap. Um, I thought I did, and I s but I just ran out. So I've had to use electrical tape, which is perfectly adequate. I mean, yeah, it's not gone a short out or anything so um, you can see there I've just soldered it up and I've soldered those wires to the other wires and yeah it's working so that one's all done as you can see there basically um, what I had to do is I had to put a tiny bit of super glue just round the rim to hold it onto that back reflector plate um, because um, it kept popping out every time I tried to clamp it down so I just put a tiny little blob of super glue you don't need a lot on there it's um yeah probably not too good for the LED that and there you can see it's all done and dusted and that's what it look that's what the final result is and um yeah you can see the difference there the top blue one and the bottom green one um I actually went I actually meant to get blue LEDs um to replace the one that was in it but is you know they're actually green, so it's a good job I got two. Originally I was just going to replace the bottom one, but since they were green, I replaced the top one as well. And um, here you can see the top um, is just pretty much the same as the bottom, but you've got less room to play around with there. So I had to do some creative soldering um, to get it clear of the um, that's the power button there, just where those wires come into. And um, yeah, you can see a bit clearer the LED and how it sits in the diffuser there. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean that's the finished result. Um, for some reason, the bottom one is slightly brighter than the top. Um, it probably just needs playing around. I just need to move the top one in a little bit more, I think. Um, but I mean, you know, it looks good. It's fine. It works. So I mean, it's not hard. Um, I mean, many of you probably know how to do this, but you know. Yeah, yeah, there's probably people out there that think, mm, you know, can I do it, can't I? You know, some people that are a bit less technically minded, but yeah, no, it's perfectly easy to do, and if you get into soldering and you get good at it, then, you know, you can do anything. Um, soldering is quite a handy skill to have. Um, so, yeah, there's just another view there. So basically, yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, I'm going to put some more guys up soon on um, future projects I'm going to do for my case. I used to be heavily into PC modding so yeah I might get back into it again but I'm going to put a few neons in there so I might uh, put up some tutorials in future on how to install neons and work it on a switch and yeah all that so I hope that was helpful to someone so um, yeah that's all for now. Um, rate, comment, subscribe or leave feedback. Thanks. Bye.